This is the last time. Ready? But I go, go, go. Go, go, go. Good boy. Here. Go, go, go. Now you can have it. Here. Quick. Don't you want it? Do you want it? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, Rangi. Come on. Here. Good. <laughs> He didn't like that because it wasn't folded the right way. Oh. Oh. But he will go like it. <laughs> Just call him Kodangi. 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 Here come. Kodangi. Kodangi. Drinking the water. Kodangi. They are our bush parrot and they actually are quite the clowns of the forest as well. <laughs> This is the part you've got to go real fast, <laughs> otherwise you'll be causing yourself a few injuries. Mm. We'll just get the food out. Try and take their food. <laughs> okay, they will soon turn around and give you a little bit of a nip. And um, look at them, they're amazing. They've got they've built in a couple of amazing tools, one being their feet and the other one that amazing little um, beak of theirs. So they are our bush parrot and they are called kaha, which means to stretch. So we're really proud of these guys because it was about 50 years ago we thought they were extinct here in the, in the forest here of Kukaha due to all the forest clearing away, okay? So they reintroduced them back in 1996 and they put 90 into the park and now we have about 160. We would love to get them to about 600 again and we're, we're working really closely on with the captive team to try and get these back up to their numbers. There was many, many years ago, the local school in Ekelahuna, which is just about 8 k's up the road there, they actually had to close down one day because these guys were so loud. Okay, and we really hope that gets to happen again. So they are, they're very tricky. Um, they are a cousin to the Kia, so I don't know if anyone's been down to meet their lovely cousin down south. Yeah. But as you know, these guys will steal your food. 
and the Kia will tear your car apart, okay? They do that in seconds, they're very, very clever at that. So it's not unheard of to see them both mixing together down south, but these guys are our North Island kaka, okay? Now looking at them immediately, you can kind of see there's a little slight difference in them. The male has a longer beak, all right? And that's to tear back the bark and stuff. The female has a little smaller beak. So we're really proud of them. But as I'm talking, I'm just kind of looking around and sometimes Ronnie is a little bit blind. If you see one with a little band on it, red over yellow, do let me know. So, I mean, I tell you, if they do learn one trick today, they'll be doing it tomorrow as well. If I left all the food in that bucket, they can actually open that lid up. Yeah, they are. They're 